but for me, he's just not taking the ball to the line at the minute. Realistically, as you're 10, you want him to go forward. If he goes forward, he doesn't let the defence opposite him come forward as well. But if he goes sideways and distributes the ball like that on an arc, all he does is let the defence come forward and distributes the ball five, six metres back. Look, they're not even over the gain line there when the ball at tackle point. They're five metres back, and that is a big, big problem. We're just looking at Ollie Barkley again. I mean, the guy's not taking the ball to the line at all. What I mean by that is he needs to be just three or four metres further forward from his starting position. And when he gets it, all he has to do is accelerate. Look at the gap in front of him. There's a big gap there that he could walk through or at least threaten. If he threatens, the defenders on the outside can't go forward. Instead, he distributes the ball back and they end up being 20 metres further back. And he's done that from every single phase of play. There's not been one phase of play I've seen in this game where he's had decent ball, where he's gone to the line and got tackled. That's something that he's personally going to have to look out for for next week and the weeks to come. Because it just completely no, stops your attacking game. Your whole attacking game dies if you fly off, move sideways and backwards. Let's get rid of the water, guys, please. But if you're seeing that Not every every single there. phase and it hasn't been adjusted, Time on penalty. does that suggest it's a part of the plan? Is that part of the idea? It can't be part they, of the plan. One of their coaches is an ex-fly half. Well, none of the co no coach in world rugby would encourage their fly half to run backwards and distribute the ball ten yards deep whilst moving backwards first. It's completely counterintuitive to what everything you tell every young fly off. Run straight. You look at Dan Carter, he gets the ball, he's flat and he goes forward. Three, parallel three to the touchline. Defences then in front three, of him can't move three, sideways, they can't come forward. And that's how you create yeah, space for all your teammates outside you, whether it be a forward or a flying wing. early critical stages for them yeah didn't exactly execute the kickoff brilliantly as well Morgan Parra having to tidy things up as Cami Lopez doesn't make it into touch and Bath come back this is Elliot Stook Matt Garvey available again on the bench tonight Cook rare opportunity for him to enjoy the starting berth at number nine and Rocket and Gooney long overdue a try Samisa Rocket and Gooney it's been 10 months since his last one against Toulouse. Beno Abano. Tackled by Timani. Briefly a wallaby. Joseph. Quickly too low. And look at Fritz Lee over the top. 15 turnovers this season for Lee. 10 in the top 14, 5 in Europe. He'll be a menace over that ball for Bath as they try and build the phase as they are here. Lonnie Uilia is uh, resplendent in the pink boots. Yeah, they're not really going anywhere. The seven phases, eight phases now. And this uh, Clermont defence is uh, just marshalling them reasonably well. Tom Homer, oh, big hit from Lee. Not just at the turnovers in the tackle as well, Lee. Use it! Extra responsibility these days without the likes of Damien Shuley in that Claremont pack for so long, one of the centrepieces. Yeah, they just decided to put boots aboard. ball. They're not making any ground there, so Cook puts that boot up and Nick Abenden and catches this one. And he catches Josh Bayliss at around the same time as well. Lopez. Bounces in front of Priestland and a little bit frustratedly he could only watch that ball skip away from him. And, uh, at the end of all that, Bath will have a defensive lineup. at the moment are playing rugby of a very high quality good to daily runs through midfield on he goes needs a little bit of support he might go on his own it might be another it is just brilliant oh we are being spoiled okay four penalty advantage well, there was some strong counter racking the referee th seems to think that it was illegally achieved beautiful line entry from Martin 
and the inside ball for Fuster. And this is a wonderful try for the French. It was all the straight off line out. They've got no right to score. The loose forwards are on 10. Really fantastic D. This was the line break. Oh, just great work from the French team. French rugby at his best. Bastion. Bastion. points in the bag. Confirmation Landaco on at scrum half. Cruz keeps going for England. Charlie Lewis of course. Touch on! The option Touch there on! in Bath now. George Ford. Tom Ward on to Joseph. Out of Johnny Man! They are bursting with little delay on it, and Argentina struggling. There's the delay. Good straightening there. Jonathan Joseph, link man, had a really good game. And as you say, once that ball is in Johnny May's hand, the Gloucester flyer is under the post. Well, not under the post, it's across the try line, though. He's not going to risk anything here. The two Bath men in the Northampton back row forward combined very well. The lovely delay just holds his man there, uh, Orlando. Woods key now is to just straighten. He comes off the left foot to hold his man. Oh, he wants to drift, but he's not going to. It's not natural, but he does it well. And then Joseph just holds the fly half, and May is gone on the wind. Wigglesworth scrabbling for the ball for Gallo. Jamie George is on the charge, and here he goes through a giant hole. Perfect, and the try will be scored, and what a moment for Wigglesworth. Once more for Tamua. Tamua, big gap. Now, can he find support? Sandwiched in a couple of tackles, but here's Cooper. He goes pass. wide, and what a pass for Adam Ashley Cooper. And the Wallabies finish on a high note in the first half. Still needed to be finished. It was quick lightning ball from the break from Tamua. Kenya was there quickly, but Cooper, he had all black players coming back on side, defenders coming at him. The quality of the pass was exceptional. The dummy on the inside. This is Kepu, Beal, Australia doing really well to keep this going, now Foley, little dummy, Foley's going through, oh what a score from the fly half, speed of thought and deed, and it's the width of the pass, just numbers for England in defence, and one easy step and he is through. Good play, Sinclair. On the body. Ford, again attacking inside, good ball, Wilson. Really quick ball, superb. And this time England are getting quick ball from Danny Kerr, not slowed down. Ford just pulls his man wide, and Mark Wilson having another... Sarah Hunter 
quick pass to Fleetwood. Gets the handoff going and still going. Vicky Fleetwood. Really good run from the open side. England looking for their bonus point try here. Abby Dow's got all the way over to the far side. And it's Emily Scott who will dive over for England. And that is the bonus point try.